All right. Uh, so I joined initially UiPath community to upskill. I was asked by my superiors at work to learn UiPath because there could be some prospects to requiring this skill. And I started uh, learning uh, for a certification on the UiPath Academy. I found this very uh, valuable and it was a very nice experience. And the first steps were very uh, smooth for me. Uh, this was my secondary PA tool, but I really loved how Academy courses were structured around the certifications. And uh, the certification experience was very nice, especially since in 2019, you had the practical part, which is, was very exciting for me. Uh, so uh, for me, the most, uh, if you could call it like that, the resource, I would tell that this is the community as a whole, regardless whether you talk about the forums or just by engaging with community members, either via some kind of messaging app or through Discord. I think that there are many very competent people who I love to engage with and get some ideas from our help me find some solution to my uh, issues that I have with my day-to-day -day work. So I think I can give you two, um, helping uh, with day-to-day -day problems of my fellow community members uh, that they have, especially beginners, uh, because I'm uh, most <laughs> experienced with uh, beginner stuff. And also doing some live sessions. I very much like doing some sessions that I'm not even very well prepared for, like uh, just uh, asking for some ideas and coming up with some solutions together in uh, in this like a workshop settings. And the third one that I could give you would be writing a blog post, but I'm not very much right now engaged with that. Uh, though I see the value of that because uh, like I said in the beginning, the uh, the questions that people ask me, they very frequently repeat. So I'd rather write some blog post about some specific issue that is very common and just show them, okay, here's the link to that uh, post that I uh, just made and you can find your solution there. Uh, of course, the most important one is UEFR Studio, because as a developer, you spend the most time in studio, debugging and writing automations. So I would be surprised to find some experienced developers who are not very good with studio. And the other one is orchestrator, because also if you build enterprise level automations, you have to use orchestrator for in some kind of, uh, in some way or another. I think coded automations are the thing of future. UiPath and many other RP vendors used to promote RP as something uh, that anyone can do. I think they changed their mind with the introduction of Studio X. By this, uh, they are kind of telling, okay, we have this more advanced tool, but if you want actually business user to build something, they have this a little bit easier uh, with smoother learning curve, but with coded automations, it's like one more step towards the professional developers. And I think they will, uh, it will take some time uh, before uh, the market will adjust because of course there are a lot of legacy automations still built around low code, but I think this is the future and I am very excited to see also a usage of AI tools because uh, currently the, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of code that AI tools learn on, but not so much with uh, local. So this will be more accurate and uh, it will be easier to build automations in such manner.